Hi, so just wanted to take you through the new search that came in the release over the weekend inside Vincere. So had some really cool updates and um, that's going to make it a lot easier to get your boolean string searches and faster inside the system so we jump into our quick search at the top here and what i can do really easily is just find my project manager so i'm just free texting project manager and what you'll notice is that it automatically puts it into my quotation marks for me so i can see that i have 261 project managers in my database and that's searching your um, field records, your notes, attachments and all CVs as well. What I can also do is build out the, the Boolean string. So now if I'm looking for, um, I would say, pro manage using our wildcard search, we can actually now search for um, records that are a deviation of project manager project managed um program manager and all that good stuff so i can hit a, a deviation using the star button here for our wildcard search and what it does is automatically populate my boolean operator so it will default to or and that is widening the search so now i have 768 candidates in my database that have some abbreviation of pro manage project manager program manager inside the database and what i can do is update that to whether i want it to be and or not or anything like that now what i can do is open this up into advanced search and you come into our brand new search and um, function inside vincere and we've got all of my candidates here. What's really important to notice is we have our new matching column, which is um, giving you a percentage match on your search string. So if I open this up and I want to build out a, a bigger Boolean string, what I can do is say, actually, I don't want to have anyone that's program. So I put in program here with the wildcard search and exclude that from my search string. But what I also want is to have someone that I've already pre-tagged with a functional expertise as a um, system developer. And I want that to be in the search string. So I just update this to or, and what I can do is have this search string all ready to go. So I can update this, but what I can also do is actually find my candidates that are in a certain location. So um, either in Sydney here or I can jump into London and tag London and I can either search this as a list view or I can open this up at, in a map view here and just load that. And what I'm going to have is my four kind of top candidates. I can select them in London here. So zoom in on Google Maps, select them, and I've got my quick view so I can open up their more details, um, their details, their LinkedIn as standard, all of that good stuff. If I jump back into the search, may know that I've got that one candidate that I know that I've made notes about and I know that I tagged them as a Manchester United fan. So what I'm gonna do is also include that into my search string. And what that's doing is searching again, everything on the database. And um, what I can do is either do it in a map view or in that list view. So if I search that here, what it's bringing me up is my one candidate that is matching everything inside that um, search string. And I've got my records here. So all of his details as standard that quick view. What you can also do, we've made it a lot easier to save that search. So just bottom left down here, you can save that search, type it in. And every time you come back into the advanced search, you jump into here and load those searches that you saved.